So let's do another Animaniacs animation bit. This is another piece that I did for Animaniacs when they were still in development stage at Warner Brothers. And the assignment here was that Wacko is angry. And let's take a look at some of the drawings that I had to do. So it starts off with Wacko standing. And here I just did a very rough drawing, as you see, of Wacko. So he's standing, looking at something, we don't know what. And then he starts to move. That was drawing one, this is drawing three. His hands come down off his hips. And go down. Then they come up, like that, this is very light because it's a trace back, he's drawing a nine, now his expression changes as his hands come up, they start to go together, and here's my extreme. This is this was probably going to be held a little bit, or not. It's just an extreme. And here you see my timing chart on the side. Drawing 7 is directly in the middle. Drawings 3 and 5 are close to drawing 1. Drawing 9 is directly in the middle between 7 and 13. And drawing 11 is directly in the middle between 9 and 13. Now he starts to move again. He wasn't actually held in that one, that was just an extreme. And here he is now a little bit changing his, his expression. It looks like his head is starting to come down. His arms go down. His head come down a little bit more. And he's leaning forward. So here's our next extreme, 25. And you see my timing chart here. Starts at 13, goes to 25. With 17 and 19 on thirds between. 15 closer to 13. 21 closer to 25. And now we continue with the movement. as his expression changes more and he gets a little bit angrier. And you see drawing 35, it looks like 25 was actually held. I'm looking at my exposure sheets. 35 is held for 10 frames. And now he's gonna move out of that. And his arms start to move a little bit. Here's my chart from 35 to 41. I only needed 39. I didn't, I guess I didn't really need 37. I probably took that one out and just needed that one in between. And now here's 43. Now 45, his arms start to go out and go up as he gets angry. Further up. And here his arms go up. And then they come down really fast. Up here and then down. And this drawing, his fists go down. And this drawing, now he changes his stance. You see his legs are changed as his arms start to go up again. He's turning his feet and slowly going down. And here he is 
putting his arms back together. And now he gets a little bit angrier. You see him gritting his teeth as his hands come together. So now he is getting really mad, apparently. His eyes start to go down. There's a real anger there. And now his hands come up. They go out to the side. And he starts to lean in. And his hands go way up. And his eyes get a little wide, even though he's still angry, his eyes, his eyes turn into dots instead of half dots there. And now they go back down. He's really mad. Now his head tilts up. And here he puts his hands up towards his mouth. His head still leans back. His hands go up to his face, towards his eyes. And looks like he's grabbing his eyes. So here's an extreme 105. So let's take this stack I'll put it over here, and now he's going to bring his hands down in front of him, turn his head really fast to the side, and his hands go to his right, and now he lifts up one foot, And he goes back, notice how I stretched his face out. And he's going down with his, other, with his foot. So what is all this leading up to? Well, you'll see. And now he's going up. Notice I'm stretching his body a little bit. And it comes down. And then he goes, he thrusts his hips out, his head is down. And now his hand goes up really fast. It's there for a slight pause just as he comes down and grabs his hat. Takes his hat off really fast, throws it down to the ground. This is the follow through of throwing his hat to the ground. More follow through. And now he has to bring his hand back around. And let's see what I did now. Now his hand comes back. This way, I stretched his hand out into the stop pose. Skip ahead a couple drawings here. Because the next thing he has to do is get angry. And he starts to jump up in the air, pull his leg back. And he's leaned his head down, his body down, his hands are up for balance. And his leg is way back. So that he can kick the hat. And he comes down with all his might. His head goes up, his body comes around, following his leg to kick the hat. The hat goes up immediately. Off screen, his leg goes way up beside his head.
and then that's the follow through with the leg going up. And then it comes back down, it snaps down really fast. And now we see the leg coming down. He puts both legs on the ground. And he settles squash pose there. And now he squashes way down and he jumps up. These drawings are done in a marker at this point. He goes way up in the air. This is the top of the jump. And now he's starting to come back down. And he comes back down to the ground, arms out. He hits the ground. And there's big effects as he's hit. And now he's on the ground. He settles back up. And he goes into his temper tantrum. Raise his arm up, down to hit the ground, other arm up, down to, still up, and then down to hit the ground, and then we go back to drawing 209, and that becomes a cycle from 209 to 219. So that was, that was Wacko getting angry. Let's flip some of these drawings. So you can see what they look like. Let's try it one more time. Probably works better if you have newer paper instead of paper from 1992. Anyway, I will put the finished video pencil test of this up. Here's the sheets from back then. 25 was held, drawing one was held. 25 is still held, 35 is held. 49 was held, 57 was held, 57 still held, these are drawings I took out, 95 was held, 129, 37, 55, so that's, that's 20 feet right there, it keeps going down until we get here. 09 and then it goes to 219 and then goes back to 09 again and we repeat that a number of times and it have been the end so a little action like that I stretched out into looks like I made that a 30 foot scene So anyway, there's, there's your exposure sheets for Wacko Gets Angry. And I'll also have running the finished video for that. So until next time, keep drawing and keep having fun.